예, 안녕하십니까. 방금 소개받은 서울대학교 이용호입니다. 오늘 이렇게 큰 자리에서 어, 그 발제를 하게 돼서 영광으로 생각하고요. 어, 오늘 발제는 어, 그 코로나 시대의 어, 장애인 어, 체육이라는 주제로 발제를 할 텐데요. 어, 그 서울대학교에서 해, 어, 했던 어, 그, 저 장애인 어, 체육 프로그램을 위주로 케이스를 소개하는 걸로 발제를 진행하려고 합니다. 오늘 발표는 미흡하지만 어, 영어로 진행을 하도록 하겠습니다. Good afternoon, everyone. It's my great honor to talk about my topic, physical activities for people with disabilities during the pandemic. Today, I'm going to give you a brief overview of uh, general aspects of physical activity for people with disabilities, and I'm going to uh, introduce you to a case of uh, Seoul National University uh, physical activity program for uh, kids with disabilities. COVID-19 pandemic has changed pretty much uh, everything in our uh, daily lives. Schools got shut down. People lost opportunities to engage in activities requiring social interaction. Sports facilities got closed. And uh, many other social ac activities uh, have been restricted uh, by the pandemic. For people with disabilities, uh, the situation has gotten even worse, uh, has become a more serious problem. Family members who have kids with disabilities suffer uh, greatly uh, because uh, the uh, daycare uh, service has been closed down, no daycare services available, and lack of opportunities uh, to engage in uh, structural exercise and social activities has led to a uh, lot of other health-related problems. So this has created lots of uh, even added problems for families uh, who have a uh, kids with uh, disabilities. And in addition to that, uh, I, heard that uh, I heard about a new story that uh, families who have uh, kids with disabilities have, uh, uh, have, suicide, uh, have committed suicide uh, due to uh, increased the level of uh, stress raising their kids without uh, daycare services. So how it might end? People are talking about herd or community immunity vaccination, weakening of coronavirus, or new version like Delta version or Lambda version of or mutation of coronavirus, or even next version, new version of COVID-2 n might even occur. So what can we do? Can we really do anything to stop the pandemic uh, as an educator or service provider? Maybe not. Then what we really uh, need to do is to improve, uh, to strengthen our ability to adapt to ever-changing environment, such as universal design for teaching. This is the, uh, the uh, idea that I uh, borrowed from the uh, concept of universal design uh, for learning. So uh, teacher becomes flexible so they can teach uh, under any circumstances, regardless of uh, teaching environment, at the gym or classroom. So, in order to do that, there should be a paradigm changes because the current one is not going to work. We have witnessed uh, many paradigm changes in education from conventional learning to active learning paradigm to uh, even online uh, using Zoom, online learning paradigm. Now, online learning is no longer new paradigm of learning nowadays. This does not just happen in education, in classroom. This paradigm change has uh, happened in every aspect of our daily life, such as religious activity and many other social activities, something like this, as you can see in the screen. Especially, uh, technology has contributed a great deal in paradigm changes in this contemporary society. Guess what? The blackboard once was a great educational invention in the uh, history of uh, uh, educational technology. Ever since, many technology-assisted tools have been invented, developed, and used in education. This now uh, no longer looks uh, strange in the classroom. This is the, uh, actually what I'm really doing in, in front of your screen. For kids now, this is very normal and not even considered a new normal for them. 
This is a very natural environment and natural educational setting for kids. And teachers are getting better at it. And so their teaching is now even evolving around online learning or Zoom learning environment. Artificial intelligence technology has, has been widely used in sports, such as Internet of Things, virtual reality, and augmented reality. This the uh, uh, famous character, one of the main characters in a uh, uh, popular comic book called Dragon Ball. This character, is, the name of the character is Vegeta. Uh, what he wear here is the uh, called a uh, scouter uh, that identifies opponent's strength. Guess what? This technology actually uh, has been realized and applied in sports setting, especially in soccer. Uh, you can see the uh, head coach of uh, Atletico Madrid uh, football team in Spanish league. What he wears here is Google glasses that transmit and receive in uh, play uh, information during the match. So this may be a new paradigm for sports in general. Now, for physical activity for people with disabilities, what would or should a new paradigm look like? This conventional physical activity may no longer be available at this uh, difficult time. So would the new paradigm look like this uh, for people with disability for their physical activity? It's very uh, typical online format physical activity program. Or something like this. This is the uh, more advanced technology and more interactive. more interactive uh, way of uh, doing exercise by using uh, that kind of technology. And I hope it doesn't blow him up. And anything like this, this is what we have in our laboratory at Seoul National University. So these are all supported by technology and available in online format. Now, however, what is worth missed out? Or what we all need to do is human interaction. This is the, uh, one of the moments in my students in uh, marathon event. How can we do this in online format? How about sense of membership and accomplishment? This was the uh, one of the greatest moments when our students actually competed uh, in the official events of Special Olympics Korea for the very first time, where we are placed in second place. Well, actually, uh, just uh, three teams participate. But who cares? They participate, uh, participated, they experienced the world. That's all that matter, right? So how can you do that in online format? How about inclusive physical activity? We are talking more about, many people are talking about inclusion, importance of inclusion. How can you accomplish to share sense of community without physical inclusion? So new paradigm of physical activity for people with disability is not just delivery of class content or program content on, through online, but it should be a new learning modality. So what should it look like? Should it be online? or offline. Somebody said, how about online? Both online and offline. Well, uh, somebody told me that why, why, why we should stick to either online or offline? It, uh, either one has both a benefit and uh, disadvantage. You can take a uh, best of each approach, right? So-called online approach. For physical activity, we have used the term contact and untact. I know. It's broken Korean, uh, Korean English, but it makes a very good sense, right? So before COVID-19 COVID era, the physical activity uh, in general was contact. During the COVID-19, it's been on tact, right? After COVID-19, what it should be? What should it be? Is it contact or on tact? How about like, just like online approach? How about all tact? Just you take a, uh, 
best combina good combination of uh, both uh, contact and on tech, right? Taking uh, best of each approach. Just we, we, need, we need to stop arguing uh, whether we should, it should be offline or online. So what has been done so far? Well, we have a very, very long way to go. But very fortunately, we started anyway at Seoul National University. So today, what I would like to do is to show you and to introduce you to a case of Seoul National University Physical Activity Program for kids with disabilities during this pandemic. We have two uh, different weekly community outreach service program offering twice a week. Every Tuesday, we provide physical activity uh, for kids with disabilities. And the name of which program is called SNU Fun and Kick. We call it uh, Sunu Fun and Kick. It was, during the pandemic, it was offered as on tech program. And the other one we have is sponsored by city of Sihung. And it's part, it's part of our College of Education uh, community supporting education program called Sunukan program. So the Sunukan program in our uh, the, uh, program was offered as all text format. Well, it, it wasn't really true all text format. It's semi or quasi structured all text pro program. So I'm gonna show you each of the uh, program we implemented at Seoul National University. First, Sunu Fun and Kick as on tech. Uh, as you can see in the slide, the pro program followed original format of the, uh, this flow chart, and it was delivered exactly the same in on tech format. So this was actually an uh, upgraded version of our online program having a uh, chroma key in the background. Before that, we didn't even have back, uh, the uh, chroma key background, we just had a camera. Then as, ever since we added a piece of uh, technology uh, as we uh, progressed. So this is not the most current one, we have the uh, more technology artistic tool for our online format program. This is a fitness exercise, but for fitness exercise, we had a little bit of problem since uh, most of kids living in the apartment. As you can see, uh, kids are jumping at their house. So there was a complaint, so that was something to consider to improve the program. Nevertheless, it looked fine as far as program effects are concerned. This is with me exercise. Since space and social interaction are limited, we tried various thematic activities, introducing uh, different cultural activities with their cultural meaning and information. So kids stay interested and connected. And it was a very good opportunity for them to learn about other cultures while they are doing physical activity. This activity, fine motor uh, skill activity, required fine motor skills and manual dexterity. So this was a bit of a challenging one for the kids. So we divided the group into two different groups based on their skill level, thanks to uh, Zoom's uh, multi-room function. So what you see now is the uh, high function in uh, kids. And what you see now is lower function in kids. Uh, so we uh, provide different level of instruction based on their skill level, uh, thanks to uh, technological assistance. Lastly, massage wraps up the uh, activities of the day. So this was exactly what we really did in offline, a regular format of program in online format during the pandemic. Now, on the other hand, I, I said uh, we have uh, two uh, different uh, community outreach services program. On the other hand, Sunukan program was delivered both online and offline as needed basis. This was not really a true all tech program, but required resiliency, ability to be able to switch from one to another. Right? So one week program was offered online, uh, then other weeks program, the uh, situation got worse and we were required, uh, required to switch from offline to online and vice versa. So this process has helped our students' step to improve 
their ability and their resiliency uh, to be able to uh, adapt to uh, uh, ever-changing uh, teaching environment. So we started off offline program, then switched it to uh, online, as you can see. The uh, uh, left-hand column uh, shows a uh, regular offline program, then it, it was switched to an uh, online program as situation uh, become, became worse. Lastly, uh, we use smartphone application. So we communicated through this application with parents. Parents uh, ask the question, and we provide them with uh, uh, feedback uh, after all the uh, activity is done for the day. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a short video clip of how we did in a hybrid of online and offline program for people uh, for kids with disabilities. It's only a it's not really short, uh, three and a half minutes uh, video clip. I hope you all enjoy.
okay, this is it. And um, we also did research on this. So uh, we uh, completed all the research. Hopefully, uh, you will see the result of our research, uh, our research uh, within this year. And also, uh, uh, our program uh, has been upgraded. So uh, what I uh, said in uh, all text format, uh, true all text uh, approach to a uh, uh, new paradigm of physical activity for people with disabilities uh, will be available. Uh, hopefully, it will be available uh, shortly so uh, everyone can have an access uh, to a new paradigm of uh, you know, flexible activity. Uh, regardless of uh, any uh, situation and circumstances. Thank you very much.